Part One. You will hear a woman telephoning an eco farm. First, you have some time to look at questions one to five. Now listen carefully and answer questions one to five. Good afternoon, Lakeside Eco Farm. Mark speaking. Oh, good afternoon. My name is Helen. I was listening to a program the other day, and it said that you are a member of the Northern Hotel Group. Yes, that's correct. Are you a member of the group? Yes, I am, and I would like to find out about staying with you for a week during the school holidays. No problem, Helen. May I have your full name? Helen Pennington. That's P E N N I N G T O N. Thank you, Helen. And your email address? Helen one two three at email dot com. No dashes or underscores. Oh, sorry. Actually, it's probably better if I give you my work email address, which is more convenient for me. That is Helen one two three. At greenfield dot com, and greenfield is one word. Okay, and your home address? It is sixty six Lake Road, Sheffield. May I ask where you heard about us? You mentioned a program. Is it on TV or? Actually, I heard about you on the radio, and I thought it might be a good place to take my children during the summer holidays. What kind of activities do you have? Well, here we have lodges in the woods. A couple of lakes, lots of activities, and great food. So I'm sure your whole family will love it. I can give you prices for all these. But first, could I have your membership number? Oh yes, I think it's UK seven six five zero four two GE. But I will just check. It has been a while since I used it. Just a moment. Ah, actually, it is. UK seven six five zero two four E G. That's fine. Thank you. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions six to ten. Now listen carefully and answer questions six to ten. Can you see my information on your system? Yes, I found you. So, regarding accommodation here at Island Eco Farm, for families, I recommend our family chalets, as they are large and suitable for both adults and children. Ah, okay, that sounds nice. But a lodge is probably too big for us. And I don't think we have much time and energy for cleaning, so we would like to stay in a flat, preferably near the farm. I'm afraid there's no accommodation near the farm. Would you want to be located near the lake? It's got a great view. Actually, my daughter would prefer to stay in the forest if possible. That's fine. We have some lovely log cabins with room for four people, which would suit your family. Yes, that's the kind of thing we want. I hope you have a wide range of food available. My husband is a meat eater. I like seafood, and my children like organic food, including plenty of vegetables. Yes, we cater for all different types of diet, so you can get all of those preferences here. Don't worry. Great. So, what is the transport situation? Can we get there by ferry or van, for instance? No, the best way is by train. There's a regular service from Sheffield. Or there is a bike trail all the way here. It generally takes about six hours to ride here from Sheffield. That sounds good, but it might be difficult with our luggage. It's a pity you don't have vans or ferry boats. But I think we will take the train. So, what activities do you have there? We have a gardening course on planting flowers, 
Would that be suitable? I was hoping for something a little more energetic to give us more exercise. A dance course, for example. Hmm, that is something guests requested in the past, but it's not something we are doing at the moment. I will bear that in mind for the future, though. Okay, that would be great. I need to get back to work, so can you email me through the prices and all the details? Certainly. I'll send all the details through to your work email address right now. Great, thank you. You're welcome, and we hope to see you here at Lakeside Eco Farm soon. Thanks. Goodbye. That is the end of part one. You now have one minute to check your answers to part one.